Hello, today we're going to be going over how to properly insert a micro SD card inside of a mini clock cam HD. When you turn over your mini clock cam and remove your battery cover, the first thing you're going to notice is your HDMI port. Next to that, you're going to have your micro SD card port. Next, you're going to have the USB port. And finally, you have the power switch for the actual internal camera inside the clock. You're going to want to make sure that you have that switch in the on position before we proceed. The first thing we want to do before we insert our micro SD card is remove the battery tab that keeps the, the clock powered off before use. So what we're going to do is go ahead and look on the side. You'll see a small white tab. Go ahead and pull that out. And once you flip your clock around, you'll notice that your clock has began to initialize and turn on. You're going to want to wait till this process is finished before operating your clock. All right. Now, on the back of our clock again, we're going to go ahead and prepare to insert our micro SD card. We recommend using a class 6 or higher micro SD card. This particular card is a class 10. It's one of the best classes that you can purchase, and it's the one that we most highly recommend. When you purchase your micro SD card, it may come in a form factor just like this with a USB card adapter as well as the micro SD card. The only portion that we'll be needing for our clock is the actual micro SD card itself. When inserting your micro SD card, there's only one correct way to insert the micro SD card into your clock. And once you have it inserted in that correct orientation, you'll get some springy resistance coming back off the card when you try to click it in place. This spring of resistance lets us know that we have inserted our card in the correct orientation and now all we have to do is secure it in place. The easiest way to secure your micro SD card is to take a paper clip, put it on the end of the card, and push it in until it clicks in place. Like so. Next thing we want to do is test to make sure that we have our micro SD card inserted properly and that our clock is reading it. You can turn your clock around and look at the face. Go ahead and grab the remote to your clock and pull out the battery retainer tab. What we're going to do now is simply press the power button on our remote one time and you'll notice that the indicator light in the top left hand corner of the clock has come on and it's remaining solid blue. If your light is blinking deliberately uh, once every second, that means that your SD card is either inserted pro improperly or it's not reading it correctly. Uh, the, the way to correct that is to just simply remove the SD card and put it in again in the correct orientation.